Well, principally, this is a a beginner area. We teach people uh, beginning skiing and beginning snowboarding here. We we cater to the novices as far as the ski hills go. We don't try and do anything for the upper intermediate or the advanced. Uh, for the non-skiers, we have a lot of snow play, which takes place over to the east of us here. And that's the tubing, or if the conditions are not right for inner tubing, we, we have discs that we put out. So it's an introduction to winter recreation area. Uh, it's not uh, a high-tech area. It's just a very basic, let's learn how to, how to have fun in the snow kind of area. Left hand, go, oh, you are good. Okay, now get ready, right hand. Reach way out there, right hand. Okay, now left. Yeah. Hey, that was good, huh? Is that your brother? So they come in the lodge, sign up, get a lift ticket, their rentals, get their skis, come on out here. And as soon as they're ready, we try to be ready for them. And uh, start out on one ski, sliding around. So if they fall, they can get up easily, get used to sliding. They use the right ski to circle left. That's the outside ski. The left ski to circle right. That's the outside ski. Then we uh, show them how to snow plow, spreading the heels without skis on. Put them on the simulator where you're spreading your skis out. Put your skis on and you already know how to snow plow. Send them down the little hill, walk up the carpet. Then we take our outside ski pole, push ourselves around, boost the right ski to turn left, left ski to turn right. Come over here to the rope toe, right up the rope toe, and ski around all the flags, red, blue, red, blue. And uh, that ordinarily takes about an hour to get that far. But if it takes longer, that's fine. Kids can take a break, go in, come back out, pick up where they left off at their own pace. Uh, if it takes less, that's fine too. We've had kids learn to ski in 15 minutes, going through that pro process. Going around red, blue, red, blue, it makes them finish their turn, which is what speed control is all about. And we take them up the chairlift, and they're skiing. And I don't know, Robin, if you've seen some of the kids this morning that are up skiing now that learned this morning. I mean, they are ripping and having a great time. That's the cool thing is to sit here at the end of the day and look up and see some of our kids come down. More than half the skiers ski in here. We taught either last week or last year. They come back and they keep skiing here because uh, they can afford to, number one. They get way into it, and of course they're going to go to Meadows or someplace else, a little more challenging terrain, but it's a great place to start. Let's go. Okay, now put on your brakes, pal. Brakes. Good. Now which way do you want to go? Okay, use your left hand. Push, man, push. Okay, now right hand. Keep going, man, right? 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 Where's your letter A? Look at your skis. There you go. Left hand. Left. Okay, get ready. Okay, I'm going to turn you loose. Ready? Okay, here we go. Follow me. Left. Left. Uh, the people who are coming up here to Intertube already have, have established the fact that they want to be involved in winter recreation. Otherwise, they wouldn't be here to Intertube. And I think that a number of them will look out and they'll see the people taking the lessons and uh, will understand that they too can be doing that. Uh, they, they don't have to be dressed much differently than how they come to go tubing. And they can come here and they can get a rental package, uh, get their skis on, and for very little more than the cost of a rental tube, can go have their first skiing experience and choose for themselves whether or not they want to graduate to, to skiing. We have a lot of people that come here uh, to, to get their first lessons in snowboarding. We've got a great staff of, of snowboard instructors. Uh, as a matter of fact, they talked me into it. And I, I had to go out and try it. It's, it's fun. What we have to offer, though, is that everybody here is doing the same thing. They're learning. Um, some of the other areas which are a little more sophisticated 
you're mixing people that want that higher end experience with 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 the novices and some novices are uncomfortable in that situation uh, where it's considerably less expensive than than any of the other areas I think I think we're less than half of what any other area is uh, as far as lift ticket costs and, and so those sorts of things this is an inexpensive place to learn uh, to learn whether or not you want to take winter recreation further. We don't have a time limit. There's other places that have a uh, station skiing or whatever, but most lessons are based on an hour and a half lesson. And if you get it, most people will, great. And if you don't, that's it. You know, we're out here teaching all day long, and uh, you're going to get it. The other thing is we use a few uh, techniques that nobody else uses, such as using our ski poles to help you get around the turn. It shifts your weight, creates angulation, counter-rotation. It does all the things that we don't burden the skiers with, you know, the technical jargon. But just simply pushing from behind your boot makes all the difference in the world. The skiers are using their ski instead of trying to turn themselves like this. And I think that's the biggest advantage is that you really learn to ski correctly here. I've seen so many kids learn to ski here and in one day they're skiing better than their parents. Get lower, get lower, spread your skis. No, your gloves. The younger people typically will come until they get until they outski the area, and then they'll need to move on to, to bigger and better places. Uh, we are finding that we're getting a lot of repeat customers from the some of the older people that uh, don't want to have to compete with the kids at some of the some of the other areas. They don't want to have kids flying past them and and startling them. And we're getting more and more of the the people the 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 more senior people who want to come and still enjoy skiing, but they don't want to uh, be startled as they ski. I don't think taking lessons is necessarily something you want to do over and over and over again. It's better to just ski. As long as you're standing on the ski, facing down the hill, you got it. You're only going to be, then experience is, gonna, is what's going to make you a better skier because your technique is there. Well, you know, a lot of uh, people bring their kids to learn how to ski here, and we want to provide something for them to do while their kids are learning. So we set a free race course with uh, times. Times are posted electronically when they come through and uh, do that every day. And it seems to be a big hit. A lot of people use the course and really enjoy it. If we don't set the time up, we hear about it. Whether or not you're a first-time visitor or someone that comes on a weekly basis, Summit Ski Area is able to provide for everybody, and they can do it all amongst each other. And You don't have to worry about people that, that look wonderful and, and do great things on skis. Any level and ability is accepted, and I think that's kind of why people end up coming here and keep coming back is because it's a very mom-and-pop friendly experience for them.